that speaks in agreement with the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost gets access to everything. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth The Holy Ghost today. is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight, I will be speaking from the room of Holy Ghost Worship. It's a place that you enter into by worshiping the Holy Ghost and that's where I'm going to be speaking to you from this evening if you don't worship him start immediately start immediately or risk falling behind 1st Thessalonians 1 verse 9 you turn to God from idols to serve the true and living God so they turned from whatever they were doing to serve the true and living God well turning from and to is literally what repentance means you repented from what you were doing before and then to serve the true and living God well I have news for you the Holy Ghost he is the true and living God in the earth today so whatever you're doing before turn from it and to him and serve him is this all right I'm not backing off this message you turn from idols things that weren't doing anything for you to serve the true and living God don't tell me I don't preach repentance I just did once you're in this room say once I'm in this room, once I'm in this room then you need to learn how to serve him you're worshiping him now you learn how to serve him is this okay yeah. and what you learn when you're in that room is you serve him by saying words well how do you know because I've been in this room long enough I've had enough instruction in here to show me that this is how God does things I don't like it that way well then you don't like walking with the true and living God this is how he does it say this is how he does it, this is how he does it. speaking words mm -hmm. and when you get to know him and learn who he is and how he does things if you want to go with him you're gonna to have to do what he does which is mm -hmm. saying words are you here mm -hmm. you see we've majored on the minors in the body of Christ everything else became such a big big deal and that all of a sudden we're leaving the Holy Ghost he doesn't even come in anymore I don't care what you have you think it's such a big deal if the Holy Ghost isn't there then your big deal is a little deal and if your big deal is something other than speaking God's words God the Holy Ghost's words then your big deal was a little deal we've been majoring on the minors are you here so we're going to flip that flip it in this room you gain a deep understanding and knowledge of who God is and how he does things and if you want to walk with him you're going to have to do things the way he does them in the beginning God did something what did he do in the beginning God said Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning God so in the beginning God say in the beginning God, in the beginning, God. now he's gonna reveal himself to you number one he's revealing that this is the beginning and he was there God right yes. created the heavens and the earth so we know he's a creator and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the Spirit of God or the Spirit God 
the spirit god moved upon the face of the waters and god that we only thing we know about him is that he's god he's a creator and he's a spirit moved upon the face of the waters and said let there be light and there was light he said something and there it was he's god he creates things he's a spirit and he says things and those things come to pass who are we talking about god who is a spirit jesus said god's a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth mm -hmm. we're talking about the holy ghost and him being god in the earth today here he was actively involved in creating the earth do you know where that is it's the thing we're standing on right now we are in the earth right yes. we're in the earth so what the earth that you're standing on and exist in he created how did he create it with love with ritual things no by speaking what? say he created it by speaking. Created it by speaking first things first do you suppose that's a big deal do you suppose words are important to him yeah. well everything in this earth was created out of words the chair you're sitting in the monkey bars you're hanging from he said let there be which were words and there was a thing that was made out of the words so all things came out of that he goes on and he lists a whole bunch of other things and those things that he lists didn't stop when he created plant life did they just stop no. four different plants showed up and then well they died off now they're still going how is that by the word that he spoke continual creation are you here mm -hmm. it didn't stop Think about light for instance scientists would tell you this light keeps going does it not take a flashlight shine it out into space mm -hmm. where did it stop it doesn't. it doesn't it keeps going God said let there be and it was he didn't say let there be until it goes over here and stops mm -hmm. are you here I'm just trying I'm trying to prove a point that in his words listen you can get this in his words that he spoke is not only creation but it is unending and limitless creation he didn't put a stop to it all those scriptures that we quote and confess he didn't put a limit on it yeah. your little pea brain put a limit on it you got to get that out of there so it didn't just stop it kept going you got plants you got fish you got animals you've got you you were made out of the word of god the clearer you can have an image of that the clearer you will be able to enter into the things that the holy ghost has said about you and you were already made out of words everything in the earth exists and is made of that genesis chapter 1 verse 5 and god called the light day and the darkness he called night day and night so time itself was created by the spoken word of God God created time people get upset at me when I call him the time Lord he is a time Lord he's the Lord of time <laughs> so the words he spoke were eternal they're eternal words they keep going they are without limits and they still contain the same force of creation that they contained when he spoke them healing verses of scripture contain unlimited healing prosperity scriptures contain unlimited prosperity this is the world you live in you live in a world made out of words everything you chair ceiling floors lights cameras and action all made out of words get that straight 
you want to walk with God the Holy Ghost get it straight you want to walk with him in the earth then you're gonna be walking in an earth and everything in it time included made out of words fast forward till the day of Pentecost where the Holy Ghost entered into this earth that is made out of words you ready to read this say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost entered an earth, entered an earth made, out words. made out of words I hope I'm making a really big deal out of this I'm hoping that I can increase the importance of this so the Holy Ghost himself God the Spirit God who was hovering over the face of the waters way in the beginning decided that on Acts chapter 2 the day of Pentecost that he would enter into this earth made out of words in this earth that's made out of words he came into the earth that's made out of words am I annoying you yet Acts chapter 2 verse 1 and when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a so God the Holy Ghost used the vehicle of sound don't get all techno geeked out on it I'm trying to make a point he entered in a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak as the Spirit gave them utterance so we know that the initial evidence of receiving the Holy Ghost is you beginning to speak as he gives you utterance why do you begin to speak you could have done anything and they began to twitch as the Spirit gave them twitchings right he could have done anything he didn't he said they began to speak so there was a sound from heaven he used the vehicle of sound and the evidence of receiving him was that they began to speak as he gives them words or as he gave them words to say the Holy Ghost the Spirit God came into the earth chose to come into the earth that is made out of words and the first thing that he had people do is the evidence receiving him of receiving him is speak big deal or no big deal huge I'm telling you when you start worshiping the Holy Ghost as God and you begin to have a deep revelation understanding of who he is because you're in that room of worshiping the Holy Ghost the first thing you start to know and that you have to walk with him is by saying words his words mm -hmm. they began to speak as he so he entered into the world made of words through the vehicle of spoken words right mm -hmm. how do you think he enters into your life and into your situations by you saying what he's already said or what he's telling you to say you want to walk with the Holy Ghost or not well shape up this is not a minor this is a major speaking his words it's huge we see it as the first thing in the book of Genesis then we see it as the first thing in the book of Acts when the Holy Ghost came into the earth first things first say first things first, first, things first. <sighs> this is a fundamental belief the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him in the earth that he moved into by speaking in agreement with his words huge now these words that you speak are limitless they're without limit like all of the other things he spoke let's look at a scripture proverbs 10 proverbs 
chapter 10 verse 22 is a promise of God all the promises of God are yes and amen. amen this Bible contains promises things that the Holy Ghost has already said Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 says the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it how far does that go limitless. it's limitless who puts the limit on it the church people in their unbelief but in that verse listen in that verse of Scripture is unlimited him making you rich no sorrow added same God spoke his words still takes still contains that creative power that he put into it and it will do well what's the creative power in this and what's it gonna do well it will bless you and make you rich mm -hmm. well I mean spiritually rich no you're you're trying to come up with a way to not believe what it actually says mm -hmm. the blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it scripture that's already been spoken it exists and by the way it it exists in the earth can you give me that yes. I mean it's right here on my page probably on yours if I go over there and look at it on all of our pages it says it it's in the earth who spoke it Holy Ghost mm -hmm. how do you suppose you're gonna walk with him in it I'm gonna come up with some other way and go somewhere else mm -hmm. because that's not how you are gonna walk with a God who created everything out of words put you in it and then moved into it and you don't want to walk with him by saying his words it's probably making people mad but I think I'm getting my point across yeah. and it's limitless it's not based on you it's based on what he said which continues on day and night timeless yeah. limitless mm -hmm. now I was thinking about this this cow Highland cow you ever see those not the, the horns and they're very furry and fluffy yeah. they look like giant stuffed animals really mm -hmm. super friendly well this this bull was there it was a Highland cow bull and he was out in this field and uh, the farmer comes in he's got this big wheel of hay you know you've seen the big wheels and it's on the little fork thing he comes into there and he drops it down in the middle of this cow pasture he's the only one in there he's a bull usually they keep them by themselves and he's looking at him like this looking back looking at the tractor you know and, and they kind of pushed it around a little bit so that it was all broken up and you could tell he was looking at them like is this for me and when you could see the realization that came on that cow's face that he realized this all this giant thing of hay was just for him and he started jumping around and flicking it up and he had the greatest time but you could tell because mm -hmm. he was looking at them like uh, I don't know I don't am I supposed to touch this or not is this for me and then when he realized mm -hmm. I have this much hay no one could possibly ever use this much hay that's what's in these verses of scripture Amen. every single one of them and you wonder why I get so excited about it because there's no limits God took the limits off are you here mm -hmm. in this room of Holy Ghost worship knowing him and walking with him as God in the earth today by speaking his words this is not the gospel we were told about is it well in the spoken word of God have I got you here in the spoken word of God I have access to unlimited money where is money in the it's in the earth unlimited power is still in those words it's accessible to you if you speak them if you don't speak them they remain hidden they remain dormant we are majoring on the majors can you hear that 
we're majoring on the majors we're not on all the little itty bitty things that do nothing matthew chapter 12 verse 30 who said this jesus wherefore i say unto you all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men but blasphemy against the what the holy ghost shall not be forgiven unto men and whosoever speaks a word against and that's what blasphemy actually means is to speak against mm -hmm. to speak contrary so he that speaks words contrary to the holy ghost gets zero gets nothing the opposite of that is he that speaks in agreement with the holy ghost gets access to everything see how we flipped it mm -hmm. whosoever speaks a word say speaks a word, speaks a word. is that important could you say at least if you just read that verse right on the face mm -hmm. is speaking a word important yeah. speaking a word against holy ghost gets you nowhere zero no forgiveness you need forgiveness do you need forgiveness yes. yeah well you got to speak in agreement with him to get forgiveness mm -hmm. man i could preach on that some of you could preach on that you got to speak in agreement with the Holy Ghost to get forgiveness and all of the other things you speak in agreement with him to get all of the other things you speak in agreement with him to get all of the other things you speak in agreement with him to get welcome mm -hmm. to walking with God the Holy Ghost in the earth today you want it some other way well that's too bad he that speaks a word against that means opposite or in opposition mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. gets zero he that speaks in agreement with God the Holy Ghost gets access to everything that God the Holy Ghost has said Amen. and what are those words and those words are without limit the words he gave you to say literally we have a whole book full of words he gave us to say and each one is unlimited mm -hmm. when you say them access without limits say access, access. Without, limits. without limits first chronicles 29 verse 11 thine O lord is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine thine is the kingdom O Lord and thou art exalted as head above all verse 12 both riches and honor come of thee who are we talking about God and specifically in our day God the Holy Ghost do you see the kind of God he is all riches and honor come from him how are they going to come from him through his spoken word well when you start worshiping him and speaking in agreement with his word instead of against him he will change everything about you he'll change the way you look he'll change the way you speak he'll change the way you think he'll change the way you act he'll change the way you dress he'll change the way you live we go from one glory to another glory beholding him mm -hmm. the spirit lord that's how we're changed from one glory to the next and first and foremost you start speaking differently and that is the impetus of what changes all of these other things Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God 
which is your reasonable service right who are we presenting our bodies to the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today right yes. let me ask you a question is your tongue part of your body yes. yes okay so your tongue is part of your body you're going to submit your tongue which is part of your body to God the Holy Ghost by and how would we do that by speaking his words verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed changed from one thing to another that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God are you going to do that without putting his perfect word in your mouth it will never happen we go from glory to glory speaking we go from good to acceptable to perfect by speaking his word mm -hmm. James chapter 3 talks about the tongue and it's with the tongue that you're able to turn about your whole body mm. with your tongue you turn about the whole business with the tongue you turn about the whole body of Christ but we've minored on it no wonder they haven't turned about mm -hmm. now some people may just think I'm being arrogant here I'm not I'm going to destroy the whole thing and bring in the remnant I'm going to destroy the whole thing and bring in the remnant Daniel chapter 7 verse 26 but the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it unto the end and the kingdom and the greatness and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him hitherto is the end of the matter I'm going to destroy the whole thing and bring in the remnant Haggai chapter 2 verse 6 for thus says the Lord of spirits yet once it is a little while and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory says the Lord of spirits the silver is mine the gold is mine says the Lord of spirits the glory of this latter house shall be greater than of the former says the Lord of spirits and in this place will I give peace says the Lord of spirits are these his words yes. am I making them up I'm going to destroy the whole thing and bring in the remnant Isaiah 60 verse 1 arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen on thee and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising in verse 12 the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish those nations shall be utterly wasted so as you can see worshiping the Holy Ghost as the Lord of Spirits puts you in a different place and your future is glorious in this room but there shall be destruction that follows in your wake get used to it for this is the way says the Spirit Lord we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name that you've blessed these people and their eyes have been opened to the new way and the new day this is the day in which you say and that is the way that we shall go forward and be established in the glory that belongs to us 
in this generation we worship you Holy Ghost and speak your words in Jesus name amen. amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Lord of Spirits I worship you the silver and gold is yours and all that's in the earth is yours as we serve you as we worship you as we speak in agreement with your word all things shall begin to be given to us in this day in this hour in Jesus name Jesus is right